we want to read a voltage divider circuit with our Arduino's analog to digital converter, we'll hook it up something like this. We'll go from the power supply voltage to ground through two resistors in series. And then we'll be able to read from the middle between those two resistors into our analog to digital converter. When we call analog read to sample from the system, this switch inside the Arduino circuitry will close, connecting the analog to digital converter to our circuit, and we can take some samples. A tiny little bit of current is going to flow into the analog to digital converter in order to enable it to make that conversion. As long as these resistances are fairly small and there's a reasonable amount of current flowing in the circuit, then the amount of current that goes into the analog to digital converter is going to be negligible, and it won't have any effect on our measurements. But if these resistances are larger, like say 10 kilo ohms, then we may have a fairly small amount of current flowing in our voltage divider, and the amount of current going into the analog to digital converter may pull the voltage in the center here down when we go to make the measurement. One of the things we can do to help with that is to add a capacitor to the circuit that will act as a charge reservoir. When the analog to digital converter tries to pull out some more current, the capacitor will supply it. That capacitor will store the charge and will keep the analog to digital converter from pulling the voltage down for that short period when the conversion is taking place. Still, if we make an awful lot of conversions over a short period of time, each of those conversions will pull the capacitor down a little bit, and the result will be that the voltage will also drop out a little. How much current is going to flow, and how much is that voltage going to drop? We'll need to make some measurements with some actual hardware to find out the answers to that question. This is an oscilloscope monitoring the analog input signal on an Arduino Uno. It may look noisy, but keep in mind that we're on the 2 millivolt per division scale. The 1 microfarad capacitor we have on the input helps keep it that quiet. But if we take it off, what you're seeing now is the sudden drop of about 8 millivolts every time we take an analog to digital conversion sample. Fortunately, on the UNO, that doesn't affect our measured results. Here's a similar signal on the input of an Adafruit Feather M0 processor. It's about the same level of noise, but this is a 5 millivolt per division scale. The M0 has a more complicated analog sampling profile and has dropouts as big as about uh, 20 millivolts. The end result can be analog measurement errors of around 1%, so you need to be careful in your sampling processes. So we've seen that this causes us no problems at all if we're using an Arduino Uno. But with some other processors, like the M0, we do see a little bit of a voltage drop. What can we do in order to mitigate this problem? Well, there are a couple of strategies. The simplest one is to just sample more slowly, so that the circuit has time to recover and the voltage stays up at the normal voltage because we're taking very little out through the analog to digital conversion. That's the easiest one and takes no additional hardware.